Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. All aboard! Here we go, let's start the show. Hosted by Mr. T. Nintendo video games are the favorite ones for me. News and review some gameplay too. Battling drones is what I do. M-I-Z. C-A-H is the show of Ms. A T. It's the show of Ms. A T. Yeah. Yeah. Hey there, fools. Ms. A T here, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be reacting to dumbass reactions. Later on on this channel, you'll find a wonderful video with two experts talking about their impressions on the Nintendo Switch Lite. But for me, you know how I do fools, I like to react in some way, shape, or another to stupid ass reactions by other fools. So almost to no one's surprise, Nintendo finally dropped information on their Nintendo Switch Mini, now known as the Nintendo Switch Lite. Nothing too exciting about it, as we all pretty much knew what to expect when it came to this console. And it's basically what we thought it would be. A somewhat smaller Switch with non-detachable Joy-Cons, so it's one complete contained unit, dropping some features to make it cheaper. So going down $100 from the $299 Switch regular to the $199 Switch Lite. Pretty cool. Now fools all over YouTube have been speculating on the Nintendo Switch Mini for over a year now. Everybody pretty much got it right as far as the design and the features. So that means there was no surprise about this system coming and what it had to offer. But like with anything, there's always stupid ass reactions for no good goddamn reason. So let's talk about those. First of all, as I've said before in many videos when I talked about the so-called Nintendo Switch Mini, if you're a single fool who already owns a Nintendo Switch, there's nothing really to be excited about here. So for myself, I have two children who already own a Nintendo Switch. And so at this point, a Switch Mini or Switch Lite does nothing for me. But you better believe, if this had come out a year ago or so, I would have got this instead of the full-on Switch for my children. Because they don't really play all that much on the big screen when they play the Switches. Their Switches are only in their dock when they want to charge it, for the most part. But some so-called gamers are too damn thick-headed to think outside of themselves. They feel like everything has to be for them. Like there aren't millions of people out there who don't think the way they think and want what they want. So let's address these morons. If you already own a Switch, the Nintendo Switch Mini, or excuse me, the Nintendo Switch Lite is not for you. Does it hurt your feelings that something was created without you in mind, you narcissistic egomaniac? Nintendo is not trying to convince current Switch owners who already have a Switch to buy a Switch Mini, unless you're some crazy ass collector, and of course there's going to be all kind of SKUs, all kind of nice designed ones that, that make you want, might want to get it, like that Pokemon one, it's like, oh, that looks so cool, I gotta get that, if you're a crazy uh, impulse, uh, uh, you're a crazy impulse collector, I don't know nothing about it like that, but if you're one of them fools, you might be looking like, oh, I might want to get one of those, but for the most part, if you're a current Switch owner, this is not for you. This is for those families out there, especially, who have multiple kids. That would save a lot of money for them. And it won't be tying up every goddamn TV in the house, for one. Like, a lot of kids share the television uh, in their houses. Not every kid in a household has their own TV. So, the Switch Lite makes a lot of sense for those people. There are a lot of families out there who don't have the funds to buy all the things they want to buy. I know it's hard to believe, fools, but yes, it happens. Think outside yourself some goddamn times. Nintendo understands that they're not reaching every market. They're not reaching that impulse market. They're not reaching Nintendo 3DS market even. It's an easier buy at $200 to get your child a Nintendo Switch. It wasn't the easiest buy even for me. Not from a monetary standpoint, but it's like, do I want to buy my child something that's this expensive and give it to them and expect them to take care of it? No, but at $200, it's an easier buy and you won't feel as bad when something like that gets somewhat damaged or, you know, get the wear and tear that it gets from children. Now, if you don't have children or half a damn brain, you may not understand that, but that's just the way it is. Now, I can run over many other reasons, but at the end of the day, that is the main important reason that Nintendo has done this. And Nintendo has done this before. 
They do this all the time with their handhelds. This is nothing new. It's certainly nothing to get upset about. What kind of dumbass shit is that? As we all know, the 3DS has the 2DS, and they took many features out of that system and made it super cheap. And again, it's a little bit more durable for, for younger kids, so it's just a smarter buy for people who aren't as responsible with their electronics. And this kind of stupidity only seems to happen when Nintendo releases new hardware. Seems like only Nintendo has to deal with this nonsense. Why oh why isn't this version of the Switch that was designed to be more portable, why isn't it less portable? Whoa! It's so confusing. They still call it the Switch, although you can't switch no more. Whoa! Remember when Sony released the slimmer version of the PlayStation 1 and they called it the PS1? That was a stupid name. Whoa! Remember when they took the already portable enough PSP and made the PSP go? Why did they do that? We didn't need a more portable portable. <laughs> Why doesn't my Game Boy Advance have a kickstand? <laughs> I really wish the 2DS could play games in 3D. <laughs> Why doesn't the Wii play Wii U games? No. <laughs> you know what this is like, fools? It's like people getting upset that an iPod exists in the world of iPads. <laughs> it's like, you know, the seven inch iPad is a thing, and then all of a sudden, the iPod touch comes out, and people are like, oh, well the iPad was already portable enough. <laughs> I don't need no iPod touch. <laughs> oh, I mean, what come on? Oh yes, it's cheaper and smaller, but I, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so what? Uh, it's cheaper. It does the same things, and it's cheaper, but I don't understand why it exists. <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, maybe some uh, more people can buy more for their household, so everybody can have something that they can use in a similar fashion? Oh, no. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Bitch, are you for real? My head wants to goddamn explode. Uh, are these motherfuckers really complaining that the Switch Lite does not do exactly what the regular Switch does? That the Switch light at a hundred dollars cheaper doesn't actually have all the same features that the current switch has are these motherfuckers really complaining about this shit? i mean it's one thing to battle drones for being drones and just being stupid just to be stupid but it's another thing to battle these morons and imbeciles with these dumbass complaints fools i'm gonna put my plastic foot in the ass there are plenty of legit complaints you can have about nintendo you can talk about their online service it's not very good you can talk about the the build quality of some of these joy cons a lot of people are having issues, including myself, with wonky ass uh, uh, joysticks on the Joy Cons and just a weird kind of quality build of the system itself. You can complain about many things. You can complain about the fact that the carts are still pretty expensive and we don't get full games on cartridges and, and that, all this kind of stuff. But to complain that a cheaper design of a current console doesn't have everything that the current console has at $100 or more expensive is goddamn stupid. Uh, I need to calm myself down. My blood pressure is, is getting out of hand here. So that's all I got to say, fools. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with this nonsense? Or you're a level-headed, smart-minded person that understands why the Switch Lite exists and just... And you're... Uh, just let me know, fools, in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching and listening, as always. And I'll see you, fools, next time. Peace out. I'm gonna put my plastic foot in the ass.